everybody. Hi. Daddy woke up feeling a little sad this morning, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. And it's okay to feel sad, right? It's part of it's part of feeling. So we just wanted to say, really, I just wanted to say, let's be real, that it's okay if you feel sad. It's okay if you feel anxiety. It's okay if you feel anger. It's okay that you feel. Remember that. And that the heart is the strongest muscle in what? In our whole body. In our whole bodies. And we are... Enough. Welcome back, Tanzan. Today we're challenging the stereotypes and talking about modern masculinity. That was the IG post from my guest, <laughs> Justin Baldoni, with his five-year-old son, Maxwell, sharing the message that it's okay for men and boys to feel and show emotion. Are we breaking ground in this conversation, not this hour, but in general, especially uh, here in the States? I think we are. I think we are. I think in general, we're just, I think we're tired of not feeling. Yeah. You know, we were created to feel. We're human beings having this experience and we spend our lives numbing ourselves and and pretending like we're not feeling things that we right. are, and it's just manifesting in a lot of illness and sickness. And so I think we're just like, I think we're done with it. Which is why, you know, this TikTok video we're about to show you, you had this touching reaction. It was put up, a sister comforting her brother who was upset that they would be going to different schools. Oh, Take yeah, yeah. Video. You put it up. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> just promise me you will never let me go. Oh, no. No. Never, never. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you Daddy's guys crying too. <laughs> are adorable. You're the best thing that I've ever had. Nothing can stop you. You've been with me through a lot of tough times. You've helped me when I can't sleep. You've like, you're like this sister that I can never ask for again. I'm gonna miss so fun. That video has been viewed now two million times after you posted it. We had to meet them in person. Oh, Welcome really? to Save This Family. <laughs> Sadie, Jeff, Baylor, and oh, Reagan yeah. are here to meet you in person. Oh, wow. Hi. Oh, hey, Baylor. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Nice to meet you. What's up, man? Bring it in. Bring it in. Hey! Wow! You guys, I mean, you said. You're set on national the TV. Look at the national TV! <laughs> Sadie, as a mom, I mean, to see that play out, what was that like for you? Moving and powerful, and like you were saying, it's breaking grounds yeah. for men. And I'm just so proud of them and yeah. for Baylor. You know, Jeff, I should have probably, you know, we're talking about men, not that <laughs> I, I instantly <laughs> went to say, but the reality is I should ask the same. As a dad, to see him so vulnerable and wanting to share that with the world, what was that like? It's really beautiful because, like, what a lot have been talked about today is just, in past, we want to suppress it and be like, oh, just be tough, like, just push it away. But to be able to just hold space for him and allow him to express that was really special and really beautiful. You have really the most sweet. adorable children. <laughs> so I'm sweet. telling you. So take me to that moment. What, what were you feeling? Um, I was feeling really sad because my sister um, has always like been there for me. And um, I always felt like comfort and safe when she was with me. But when she's moving to a new school, it just feels like um, I have to like do things on my own now without her. Oh. So it's a good learning experience also. Mm. How has it been? It's, it's been, it's, it's, it's been really good so far. Um, I know that um, Reagan's doing good and I'm doing good. Yeah. yeah, it's been going really good and really well. Reagan, you have to be the best sister ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a brother. He would not have cried or been sad if we weren't. I mean, you are so special. Did you realize how connected your brother felt to you? Yeah. You do? Yeah. In that moment, mm. what did that feel like for you to have him express his feelings? Um, it made me, like, really happy because, like, that was... I mean, it's happened before, but, like, 
that moment right then, I wasn't like ex like expecting it, yeah. but like it kind of was out of nowhere. And I loved I loved the moment with being with him and spending time with him, and it made mm. me so happy seeing it, him that like seeing how he would miss me going to junior high. <laughs> you're like, so. you're gonna miss me. Oh, you do already. You know, that is. Um, I, I love how mature you were in that moment as well. I, you have parents who will wonder, is there a secret to this? Has mm. it just been a daily conversation with both of them? But yeah. especially Baylor, to be there for yourself and to tell us how you feel. Yeah, I think Jeff and I both have been on healing journeys of what it means to be human and finding that for ourselves. And mm. so when we were on that, we realized this really starts with our kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And giving them a safe place to express. So we've tried to do that our whole parenthood. Well, it's working. Well, it is working. And I know that Justin's a big fan of the family. Did you all know, you know he has a best-selling book yes. out. You have a pen over I here. I do. I'm gonna, I would love to That's gift so you guys a copy. And I just wanna tell you something. No matter what happens at school, no matter what other boys say to you, that vulnerability, that's your superpower. Yes. All right. That's that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Sadie, Jeff, Baylor, Reagan, thank you so much. Well You're done, amazing. Mom and Dad.